going on, everyone? I wanted to take a little bit of time today to share with you what it is that I'm having right now on a day-to-day -day basis. So my current supplements, you know, vitamins, pills, things of that nature. I did so previously in another video, and you can take a look at it right here. And I wanted to actually cover things that I'm currently taking right now, as well as things that I was previously taking and why I'm not taking them anymore. So just to get things uh, started and get the ball rolling here, in my previous video, I discussed CLA. And CLA is a product which a lot of bodybuilders use. A lot of people have sort of mixed opinions on it, whether it is actually effective in helping reduce fat or if it's more of a type of placebo effect, which you'll get, in which cases you'll be working out and exercising and doing all those great things, you'll start to notice fat loss, which you would have received anyways, or you would have, you know, you would have had that anyways, just through your, your normal activities. But since you're taking this, you figure, oh, it must be these, but you know it, that's not really the case, and that's really what I found with with me taking them is that I had a two to three week trial, and I noticed that I wasn't losing any body fat percentage. So even a slightest bit, even a fraction, I wasn't really notice, noticing much of a difference. So really, that's it. Cut, done, move on. And really, what I do when I try something out is make sure that I research it completely. I make sure that there's you know certain side effects, and, and you know I need to be weary of those if there are any at all. And I prefer to take products that don't have side effects obviously so CLA is a product that didn't necessarily have any side effects listed it only had pros and I really just wanted to give it a shot but didn't work out no it's also a pretty cheap product but yeah didn't work out so that's something I stopped taking another supplement which I didn't include in my last video because I only took it for about three days um, that is Yohimbine HCI and this is something that a lot of people, a lot of bodybuilders and a lot of fitness people will swear by. Now, the problem with Yohimbine is it's actually a pretty natural product. It comes from a tree bark. And I'll put the links in the description below to everything that I'm talking about here. But the problem with this is that it actually has a tendency to increase the levels of anxiety in some people. And I was one of those people. So I found that I'm already a fairly anxious person, person and I have a lot of anxiety when it comes to work and you know, just life and working out in gym and all that stuff, right? So I found that this tended to increase my levels of anxiety just that slightest bit to the point where it was becoming sort of mentally damaging on myself in the sense where I was having more negative thoughts flowing through my head than I was positive ones. And that's something I don't really enjoy doing. It's, it's a little bit frustrating when you're trying to battle with yourself all day long and you're really just wondering what the hell is going on. So this is what kind of did that to me and, and I, I really just kind of weeded off of it after about a three-day trial and normally I like to give something about a week or two but I feel that if you're taking a product such as this or any pr product whatsoever and the downsides of that particular product first of all if there's any apparent downsides whatsoever it's not good but if that if the downsides of that particular product are outweighing the positive or the benefits of it there's no point in taking it because for me to use this product and be anxious and have anxiety or whatever the hell was going on, I don't even know, and I wouldn't even try it again to find out. For me to take that and lose that slightest bit of body fat percentage, it's not necessary. I can just go to the gym an extra week or two and do that myself anyway. So when people go rushing to the stores to find these quick solutions and these quick pills, you have to really do your research, factor in your personal health and the longevity of your health and fitness, because it's not worth it in the end. So that's exactly what I did there, and that's why I wanted to just quickly mention it, and just briefly, and I didn't put it in the last video just because I only had it for two, three days, but that's why, that's why I stopped taking it. So on to what I'm currently taking. And in the previous video, I noted that I was taking a Omega 369 uh, fish oil pill, and what I've actually done is managed to pick up my wild salmon fish oil pills. And this comes in uh, soft gels, 200 a pack. It's like 15 bucks for this. It's, it's amazing. It lasts me. I mean, I have two, anywhere between two to three a day. Some days I'll go right down to one. If I'm having a lot of fish or salmon already, it's unnecessary just to continue to take, you know, these types of pills. But I definitely recommend for everyone watching this video, everyone, young, old, whatever, I'm, I don't know how young, but it's very good to have your omega and your, and your fatty acids. So I definitely recommend checking out either an omega-369 or a wild salmon fish oil pill because it's, it, there's really no downsides to it. it. It's just a healthy, healthy product. So have a look at that. Aside from that, what I'm actually taking still, and this was in my previous video, is my Atom multivitamin. So I'm still taking this and it gives me all sorts of those extra little bits here and there that you miss out from foods. 
Um, and it's a great product overall. This thing was only like six bucks from bodybuilding.com. I definitely recommend having a look at that as well. If obviously, well, there's, there's women's ones as well, but this is a men's multivitamin. Um, I take two of these a day. Some days I'll take one. Right now I'm a little bit low, so I'll just take one and I'll try to, instead of having, um, you know, two of these I'll take, I'll basically eat certain foods in order to make up for the, um, you know, the necessary vitamins and things like that that I'm not getting out of having this. So I always try to maintain consistent levels of um, all sorts of things that I'm having, vitamin C, D, um, zinc, zinc is in this as well. I mentioned that before in my previous video. I'm just a huge fan because it helps with testosterone production and that's great for working out, obviously. Um, so I'm still taking that particular product. So what I'm actually, Actually, before I get into that, I'm going to show you one more that I'm currently taking that was in my previous video, and that is Micronized Creatine Monohydrate. Good product as well. Very good product. $6 a pack. Actually, bodybuilding.com had this on sale for, it's like buy one, get one free. So it's like $3 a pack for this thing. 20 servings. I take one serving a day, and there's five grams per serving, so per scoop. Now, five grams is the maximum daily absorption that an individual can have when they fully exert themselves in the gym, exercising, whatever it may be. Sometimes I'll push it to six or seven grams, but who the hell knows if that's actually being absorbed. I just know that that five grams is essential if I'm completely exerting myself in the gym or bike riding or whatever, or hiking, anything, anything. I don't know, whatever you're doing as well. I mean, if you're doing like lion wrestling or something crazy, I don't know why that came to mind, but if you're doing something ridiculous, I think it was because there was some, there was some like shark wrestling video that was out today. And I'll put that link in the description below as well, because it's pretty funny. Some NFL player is wrestling a, a six foot shark. I don't know, random internet stuff. So creatine is a great product to have. And if you are going to pick up a creatine based product, make sure it's a quality one. Make sure it is a, uh, from a reputable brand, a reputable company, and it's not overdone with flashy graphics and all sorts of craziness, and it's not overpriced, and it doesn't have, you know, a shit ton of reviews saying that, well, I mean, really pay attention to the reviews, but it, it, try to find something that's not being marketed to you, because really, for this type of product, you just need the basics. Like I said, $6 for this package, and it was buy one, get one, 20 servings. So you really only need the basics of this. You don't need anything flashy or fancy. Aside from that, what I'm taking now is L-carnitine. And this is actually a new product. It's very similar to the effects that a lot of people would experience from CLA, or apparently experience from CLA. Now, L-carnitine has tons and tons of benefits to it. It helps with visceral fat. And there's two types of fat. There's visceral fat and there's subcutaneous fat. Now, visceral fat is, it, it's kind of, let's say behind your abdominal wall, it's surrounding your vital organs. And it, it, this particular product can help reduce that fat. Now, it, it's not necessarily great for helping with subcutaneous fat. And I'll put up a diagram right here. And you can have a link in the description below to take, take a look at what these types of fats are. But basically, subcutaneous fat is, let's say this is your, your layer of skin. So subcutaneous fat would be right behind that layer of skin, assuming your organs are right here right behind that layer of skin, and a lot of people have problems with subcutaneous fat. There really is no magic pill, magic remedy solution to helping eliminate subcutaneous fat. So it really just comes down to exercise, diet, and healthy, healthy, be healthy. That's it. That's really all it comes down to. So try out this product if you're interested in helping with the visceral fat loss. And in addition to that, there's tons of other medical benefits to it. So if you're a postmenopausal female, um, you know, obviously there's not too many, I don't think my subscribers are really, you know, in that demographic, but <laughs> if you are, it can help with uh, bone mass. And, and if you have sort of bone, a reduction in bone mass or you're, you're losing your bone mass, it can help with that. It helps with um, overall muscle building. It helps with, if you have kidney problems, it can help with, with that as well. So there's a lot of benefits to it, and I'm putting everything that you need to know in the description below. I'm saving you the time of having to go out and research it yourself because I've done plenty of research on it. So try that out if you're interested. And I think I pretty much covered everything. Aside from that, what I did want to briefly, briefly mention was I started doing something, and I never really thought about it before, but I saw a lot of people talking about it, and that is foam rolling. So I never really thought this would actually play a major role in the development of, or, or my particular muscle development, but it has. I found that since I started foam rolling, this is basic foam roller, it's five inches in diameter, and um, 
I actually pretty much already broke this one. So, I, that was, it was just stupid of me to do that anyways. That aside, what this is actually good for is helping with, it's, it's like going in with your knuckles and just massaging out all the kinks in your muscles. And it, it's really helpful. I find that it's, it's, it's really been beneficial for me in terms of developing my muscle. And I just wake up the next day, I feel great. I don't get that soreness that I normally would, especially if I do a leg day. If I do a proper foam rolling session after 15 minutes or so, it saves me like a full day or two of pain. You know, in the next days, I can actually go to the gym and work out legs again, and I can do it much sooner if I'm doing the foam rolling on top of, you know, my normal exercises. So that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to share with you. Let me know what you're taking. Leave it in the comment section down below or any of the other sites, and have yourself a great Wednesday.